Good morning, guys. Welcome to my Monday morning rants for Monday, the 7th of February, Fe- February 2022. So, uh, I uh, started last week off super motivated uh, to get into working on Organic Food Hub, which is um, a mate of mine, Josh, he runs this. Him and I go back a long way and... Uh, He's just one of those amazing entrepreneurs. He has so much energy, um, so much drive. And uh, if his dream is to be a millionaire, he will get there. Um, So Organic Food Hub is his latest thing, though. It's got so much more heart than any of the other corporate ventures he's ever started, I think. I mean, not that none of them had heart. I think they always had something good about them. But uh, Organic Food Hub, the idea of um, delivering uh, organic produce, certified organic produce from all these small little farms all over sort of like New South Wales and then delivering them to people's homes. I think that's uh, a really great business model uh, and concept to be putting your everything into, you know, and he does. He he puts in everything and then some. Um, and uh, I've been working on that. So basically, uh, I set aside uh, Tuesdays to be working on Organic Food Hub because Mondays I got my Monday morning rant and I'm happy with that, right? I'm just happy with uh, not overloading my calendar and just trying to do only one thing a day at the very most, and even then I try to space it apart with a, a day of nothing. And I've been doing that for quite some time now, and and it's been quite stable for me. Um, but yeah, I woke up last week uh, after, after doing my Monday morning rant. I was motivated to get right into Organic Food Hub on the Monday, as opposed to starting it on the Tuesday. I was genuinely um, excited to get going. So... I found myself in the zone um, trying to work as quickly as possible because this is not like um, a big money job for me. It is more helping a mate out. Um, You know, I'd even do it for a case of beer. Hey, it's just like I know that it wouldn't take me much time to take what uh, Josh already has up there with Organic Food Hub and just make it better, Make make it look better, like just... Uh, I've been um, a graphic professional graphic designer for so many years. I know there are some simple changes that I could make without uh, adjusting the structure of, of the website to just make it look and work better. And so I did that. But um, next thing you know, I spent six hours on it, which is a significant chunk of time. Um, obviously, my my six hours is worth a lot more than a case of beer. Um, and, you know, it's not, not that it's about the money for me, but, um, I think I realized after that six hours that this is probably not sustainable because it's just, that's just the homepage and there are so many other pages and there are so many other ways to, to make this website better and, uh, his marketing better and his branding better. And, uh, if it was my baby, I would be chipping away at it every day. Um, just like Josh is, you know, and his team. And um, anyway, I I, uh, I sent it through. I sent the design through to him and he loved it. He was so excited he couldn't sleep that night. I mean, that that's it was a great reaction. And uh, I'm really glad that he liked uh, the changes that I had made to the homepage. Um, then he sent it across to his marketing team, being... Um, um, just a, a company that does what I do, you know, that design and what I did, I suppose, uh, design and, and marketing and all of that kind of stuff, digital marketing and all that stuff. Um, and that's when I got a little bit worried because uh, design by committee is probably one of the worst parts of uh, the graphic design job. And, you know, I, I've... I've had it so many times in my career where it's not one person, it's not your client giving you feedback, it's your client throwing your 
your uh, concept out to everyone, including the secretary. And uh, you know, if it's a if you've done a yellow website and the secretary doesn't like yellow, then oh, too bad. Someone doesn't like it. You've got to change it. Um, the problem with design by committee is if you go and ask twenty people for some feedback on something, they're gonna fucking give it, and every single one of those twenty people will try to pick something to change. And who the fuck are these people? Are they graphic designers? Have they got a degree? No, oh, they just don't like that that font. Or oh, no, they don't like the yellow. Or um, they find something looking too busy or something. And I mean, it's 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 difficult for a designer to put weight on someone's feedback or opinions if their opinions are just like assholes, right? Because everyone's got one. So I was I was nervous. And then I got some feedback. The feedback was great, except for this, this, and this. And then the next day came some more feedback for some reason from the same company with some more this, this, and this. And I read the feedback over and over and over again, and I couldn't make sense of it. And it just upset me. End of the day, I'm just like, well, fuck. If you if if you if you if you want to make those changes, you make those changes then. Um, I don't think I want to make those changes. I didn't find them valid. And um, yeah, that was a little bit of a turn in, the t- in, 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 in my energy levels. And uh, just reminded, it just really reminded me again of the job of graphic design. Um, then I had a meeting with Josh's developer, who I respected so much because I know as a developer... You are so scared to be working with some random graphic designer who's just going to fucking make your life so hard for yourself. He's already done all the work. He's got the website up. So the last thing he wants is someone to um, come up with a, a, a JPEG of a new website design and then him have to go and make so many significant changes that it, it would just take him forever to do. It'd be a real pain to do. But as someone who is a dev- I'm a developer myself... I already had a meeting with him where I promised him I would not change the structure. So the only thing he would have to change is colors and pictures. He wouldn't have to adjust any of the structure, none of it. Exactly the same image sizes, exactly the same font sizes, all of that. Um, But even then, we had a meeting and he couldn't really understand what I had done and the changes. Um, He insisted that I send him back a list of changes rather than him understanding what the changes were. He insisted that I actually number the changes um, and with a graphic uh, of the new design with clearly labeled uh, 1 to 10 or whatever, all the changes that need to be made including like sampling hex codes and, and, and numbers, which, you know, as a developer, you know how to do. You know how to um, go to Photoshop, grab your color picker, click on the color, and boom, there's the hex code. And we all know that white, the hex code for that is uh, FFF, FFF. It's, it's I, I don't know, like, yeah, it will take me a second to give him the two hex codes. He, he wants um, <laughs> the hex code for white. <laughs> And the hex for code for green. Uh, and they're the only two things that I've changed. Uh, and then we went into discussion about how hard it is to change the banner from black to white. And uh, I didn't lose my shit, but I fucking almost lost my shit. We're talking about a developer who knows exactly what to do with the JPEG that I've given him. But insists on making me do more work to give him a list of exactly what changes he needs to make. Um, And yeah, so again, that just made me lose even more energy. Um, And... And then there's the email thing. I don't don't check my emails. Maybe I'll check my email once a month. Uh, But... God, I love him. I love Josh, but he's got so much energy and 
I'm checking my emails and every t- every time I check my email now, which is like every couple of days, there, there's at least a few messages from Josh. And I understand he's got so much energy and you need that. You need that obsessive compulsive energy to get something off the ground. I'm totally not, I'm not got anything against that at all. But I don't have that energy for anything that I'm into right now. And it just... I can't even read all the emails he sends. There's just too many of them. And each one seems to need some sort of work and some sort of action. And I can't do that. I can't do that. At the most, I can do a day a week on this. But what he probably really needs is someone that could be there every day. Someone who's... He deserves it. He deserves it. And I'm sure he would appreciate it if I only did the one day a week. But I don't think I can. I don't think I can because I don't feel like I, I, I could do enough. I don't think that I love the, the, the whole organic food thing. I mean, I'm, I'm only just learning how to cook and I'm only just learning. It would be good for me maybe if, at some point down the line. But right now, I, I know exactly why I quit graphic design and anything to do with the corporate and business sort of world. And I need to sustain, I need to sustain my happiness, right? Whatever little of it I do have, I need, I need to, I need to nurture it. And, um, yeah, like I said, it's just gone really pear shaped. It started out really good. I was super motivated, super into being in the zone. But as soon as the politics came in, it all just fell apart for me uh, and it has fallen apart. And um, I'll give you another analogy, right? So last week I also uh, left the the Destiny 2 computer game clan that I'm in and I joined another one. I was sitting there in the uh, social space in Destiny and I saw a, a player with the username Oz Gamer Girl Jr., and that rang a bell with me and turns out like uh, about a year or so ago I was uh, or more I was in a huge clan uh full of guys every single one of the there was like 500 members or something and they're all guys and there's so many fucking egos and attitude on there I fucking hated it and um and this this player I was gamer girl uh saw me out in the wild in the open world and she invited me to a clan and I said no at the time because I was part of a huge clan. And um, but at the same time, I was I was kind of kind of always wanted to keep tabs on their clan. And I liked the idea of um, being in a clan that was run by a woman. Um, most of my best friends in life are women, and I just get along with women better than men. And less ego, less attitude, less less of the the dick measuring shit, which I fucking hate. Right. So. Anyway, fast forward to uh, last week. There's this Oz Gamer Girl Junior in the tower, and I'm uh, uh, in the social space, and I sent her a message and I said, "How's the clan going?" And um, if it's still going good, I, and and it's quite active, I'd like to join up. And um, turns out Oz Gamer Girl Junior was Oz Gamer Girl's daughter. So um, Oz Gamer Girl got in touch with me. Her name's Ali. Uh, she's been running a clan since Destiny 1. Uh, she's an awesome player. Uh, her, her Discord is awesome, but it's like, it's empty, sadly. And, uh, and, um, I took it as a, a a bit of a shame that it's not as busy as I, 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 and active as I wanted a clan to be, to join, but... I like her and I like her, her friends and I like um, the vibe and I like the idea of um, helping her to kickstart and revive her community. And, you know, I, I've, I've set up many communities over my time and I have a, a trick or two up my sleeve and I've got a bit of a, like a, almost like a, like a Batman belt of little tricks and tools that I know uh, work with getting communities up and running. And getting them going, and 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 um, so I was more than happy to do a bit of graphic design for her. I redesigned the Discord um, icon, 
the uh, welcome uh, background wallpaper. I did some um, wallpapers as well. And um, I did some copywriting. I've done some copywriting for them. And, you know, every single bit of work that I've put in for the new clan. I mean, sorry, my new clan. But uh, they're called the Elite Noobs. Um, you know, I like that. Being a noob for life. I kind of like that. It's um, Noob is not a dirty word, right? So, um, yeah, I... I've I've put in probably not not as much hours as I did with Organic Food Hub, but I've put in the hours and uh, Ali and and the people on the clan love the 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 work that I've done and the changes that I've made and oh it just feels so good it feels so good to be doing work on stuff that you love and I want to do it and I don't want a single dollar for it like Ali even asked me. Uh, if I would, um, how much would I charge her if I was to design her Twitch logo? And I'm like, I- I'm too expensive. <laughs> I just, I didn't mean to be egotistical. But I'm like, like, I don't want to do work. I don't want money. I don't want, I don't want to be paid. It, I just want to enjoy it. And um, if I get around to doing a logo for her, I won't charge her a dollar, you know, and I'll love every minute of it. And I'll love how much she loves it. So, yeah, guys, it's a tough one for me. I've got, you know, I need money, yes. Um, <clears throat> I'm low on money, yes. I could do with more, 100%. Uh, but I I am a retired designer. I I can still do design work, but I can't do design work in in a in a in a sort of retainer slash owned or salary or some sort of like o- o- some sort of situation where I'm on a leash of some sort I, I I don't think it's for me um my bipolar is kicking in hard I understand I need to calm the fuck down and just uh and just breathe but I yeah I'm losing air and I I'm starting to not be able to breathe and that that sort of feeling of anxiety of fuck if I check my email there's going to be something there if I are there if there are emails that I haven't read and it you know it's not even fucking Tuesday yet and on Saturday Sunday I'm already stressing about Tuesday because I've got to do some fucking work and I'm not excited about it I'm not excited about doing that work um some of it's grindy work, you know, and maybe I need to be in a higher up position. I can just uh, consult on stuff, not even touch Photoshop, just consult on stuff. Maybe I could deal with that. Um, just do Zoom meetings and and give feedback on things. But to actually get in on the fucking ground level, you know, to be in the in the battlefield and actually be there and do the work and do the work in Photoshop and 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 and, and do that I I don't know if I can do that in on on a corporate level anymore. So yeah, the struggle is fucking real. Um uh I know um I know uh Josh Josh and I need to have a big meeting about it and uh these are just uh thoughts that I've um, that, that have been building up and um, tomorrow I get going on Organic Food Hub. T- tomorrow's my Tuesday, but I think uh, right now, if you were to ask me um, how you're feeling on it and, 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 and where, do you, where do you think it's going to go, I think I'm going to shoot myself in the foot like I have done with other situations like this in the past and I'm going to finish up the homepage um, tomorrow and then I'm probably going to hit the eject button just because I can't deal. I just can't deal. I can't slow it down on my own and I can't get it to a point where I can just happily do a, a day a week because I just know that it, it, I just feel like it requires more than that and I can't, and I can't do it. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I'll keep, uh, you guys posted next week on where it goes. And um, anyway, I hope everyone has a really good week. Uh, I shall catch you guys in the next one. See yous.